Another concern that I have is I read in these journals about adverse events in medications, some cardiac arrhythmias, some cardiac deaths, some cardiac events. So what do we know about these long-acting bronchodilators today from the safety point of view? As a medic, what should I be aware of that I need to tell my patients what to expect, what kind of side effects? What should I be looking for to see if there is any adverse event that I need to intervene? There are several things that can happen with these medications. The short-acting ones that block the cholinergic, called anticholinergic, have been associated with heart arrhythmias, funny rhythms in the heart, even heart attacks and strokes. And so um, that's when used regularly. We don't know for sure if they're just used intermittently if that's a problem or not. We know the long-acting anticholinergic is safe in over 6,000 patients that were tested, but those patients did not have a heart attack within the last six months. So if the patient has had a heart attack, um, you know, you kind of have to weigh the risk of another heart attack versus the risk of them being so short of breath with their COPD. Now the other agents, the long-acting beta agonists, have been associated with you know, arrhythmias and kind of fast beating heart, but not nearly as much as the short acting one. And so those are, are a little bit, um, have fewer side effects than the short acting. The inhaled steroids, the, one of the reasons they should always be used together, have been associated with pneumonia and so in some patients. And so that's why it's really important to make sure that your patients need these medicines before you just go out and give them. Don't just give them you know, off the cuff. Make sure that they truly fit the profile and need these medicines.